In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your controller's actions show up on screen when you're streaming. So I'm using a PS5 controller. It works with pretty much any controller that you have, as long as you can connect it to your PC. So the way it works is that when you press a button on your controller, it's going to show the action on screen. And uh, it's really good if you're playing some kind of game, you know, Call of Duty, and you want the viewers to be able to see that you are the one actually moving the controller sticks and see what actions you're actually doing. So it's actually pretty simple to go ahead and set up. And once you set it up, you can just use it for ages. So it's just, it's pretty easy. So first things first, we want to go to this website called gamepadviewer.com. And you're gonna come here and first of all, it's gonna to say to you there are, there are currently no gamepads connected. Press any button to enable. So you want to go ahead and just press a button on your controller, make sure it's connected to your PC. So I'm just gonna press the PlayStation button and it should be able to register it. So now that I've uh, pressed it, you can see it says currently viewing at the top. We want to just go ahead and select player one, and this is going to be the player one controller here. So what I can first of all do is I go to the top and I can change which controller type I've got. Now, annoyingly, they don't have PS5 for some reason, but they have PS4, they have PS3, um, they have Xbox 360, Xbox One. So you can go ahead and pick this one, for example, and it's still pretty good it's like it doesn't really need to be any better than this but you can see when i press a button uh you can see which buttons i'm pressing and it also has the intensity i'm pressing it so if you look at the trigger buttons if i press it a little bit it you know as i gradually push it down it goes more white you can change the color here and this is gonna be like your background color so you can change the background color here but basically once you're ready and you're happy with how it looks and you've customized it we're going to go ahead and uh, embed it into our stream. So I'm going to show you how to do it with OBS. You want to go to over here and you want to go to where it says generate URL. And then from here you want to go ahead, check all these settings are how you like. Then you can go ahead and click this button here and you can copy your uh, URL there. So next up we want to go ahead and open up OBS. So I've got OBS up here. And we want to go ahead and add a source. And for the source we're adding it's going to be browser. I'm just going to add it in here. And then for the URL, we're going to paste in the URL that we've just got there. So we can go ahead and press OK. And it should show up on there. You can see for me, it says disconnected um, because I wasn't moving anything. But you can see the controller is now showing up on here. So it's not the controller I wanted. I think that's because I forgot to put the right settings in. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so I did Xbox One. Let's just go back to PS4 white. Let's see if that automatically updates. It doesn't so I think what I would do is I'll copy the link again uh, paste it back into here and it should there we go it's changed so there you go you can see that it's now popping up here and um, yeah so when I make an action now you can see it shows on screen what I'm doing and if I want to go ahead and resize it I can do that really easily uh, I can put it over here you can see all the buttons work if I click in the sticks they work uh, yeah, any of the buttons here really works. So it's pretty easy to do. Just one thing is I don't think you can close this um, website when you're doing it. So make sure you have this website open because if you close it, I believe it's going to stop working. And actually, I think I might be wrong. I've opened, I've closed the website and uh, it's still working. So that's good to know. You see all the buttons are working, but it's really as simple as that to do. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that it helped. And let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about gaming or anything in particular and I'll go ahead and do that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.